Hey everyone, welcome to another game between Alpha Zero playing white and Stockfish 8 playing black. So we have d4 by Alpha Zero, knight to f6, knight to f3, e6, c4, b6, g3, bishop a6, hitting the c4 pawn, the queen comes out to c2 to defend it, c5, and now d5 by Alpha Zero, and this does give up a pawn. But white will have compensation for this pawn. After e takes d5, c takes d5, the bishop comes back to b7. Bishop g2, knight takes d5. So white has lost uh, its d pawn, but now that the d pawn doesn't exist, the d file has been opened up, and d1 will be a great square for white rook. Also, uh, this pawn, which was once on e6, has been traded off, and therefore uh, now actually f5 is quite a weak square in black's position, and white's queen can come to f5, and that's actually quite a nice square for the queen. So. Alpha Zero continued with castling. Bishop e7, the rook immediately gets onto d1. Now we have a threat of knight to e5, which would open up an attack on the knight, and this knight could not move because it's pinned to the bishop, so therefore white would win a piece. And Stockfish played quite a clever move here, just it developed its knight to c6. And the point is, if you take the knight off with the rook, then knight to b4, and this opens up an attack on the rook uh, using the bishop and it also attacks the queen so after the queen moves black will just win the exchange back therefore after knight c6 not rook takes d5 but this queen f5 move which I was talking about before and here the queen attacks f7 d7 and d5 and yeah it is quite a nice square uh, the knight comes back to f6 and now a pretty important move e4 by alpha zero and the point of this move is to make sure that black cannot play d5 by controlling the d5 square with the pawn. And due to this, this pawn on d7 is actually quite weak. It's a backward pawn. You must make sure it can't advance forward. So, g6, queen to f4, castles, and now pushing the pawn once more, e5. This is a strong pawn. It's covering both d6 and f6 now. Black's dark squares do look a bit weak, especially after that g6 move. Uh, knight to h5, queen to g4, and this attacks the d7 pawn, but Stockfish doesn't care, it just plays knight to g7, more interested in getting the knight back into the game from h5. And Alpha Zero did not take on d7 here, because, well, if you take with the queen, then there's this nice queen to b8 move. And this attacks e5. Uh, remember that white's won a pawn back, but it had all the sacrificed upon, so now material is even. Uh, yeah, so queen b8 attacks e5 and also threatens rook to d8, so this would be quite good for black. And also after knight to g7, if you take d7 with the rook, then black has this nice move h5, attacking the queen. Uh, the queen would move and make sure it still defends the rook. And now, if it did, bishop to c8. And this is really good for black, because if you take the queen, you just take back with the rook. And now this queen's actually trapped. So therefore, after h5, you probably take the queen off. But now after h takes g4, let's say rook takes f8, rook takes f8, knight on f to d2, knight f5. Just compare the minor pieces here. Look at this knight on b1, look at the knight on f5. Black has a huge lead in development here. So after knight g7, not uh, not taking d7, just knight to c3 by alpha zero. Without this pawn on e6, d5 is going to be a nice square for white, for the white knight. Uh, rook to e8, and once again, if you take d7, well, if you take with the queen, the queens will be traded. And take a moment to compare the queens. It's clearly not logical to allow a queen trade here because white's queen is just so much better. And rook takes d7 is obviously quite a risky move as well because of stuff like bishop c8 again. So after rook to e8, h4 by alpha 0. Rook b8, uh, still not taking d7, just knight to d5. And this is a really nice square for the knight. h5, queen to a4, knight e6, and bishop e3. And let's just assess the position here. White is down a pawn, but this pawn on e5 here really just clamps down on black's position and if you look at peace activity here this knight on d5 is great black's knights are decent but they aren't the best uh, look at this rook on e8 look at the rook on b8 and compare it to the rooks to the rook on d1 uh, obviously white has got better rook position here 
So you can see that black's also down in space as well because of this pawn on e5. And overall it's just a bit of a cramped position for black and it doesn't really have any great pieces. So black playing knight to b4 which makes sense, looking for trades, always trade material when you're down in space to give yourself more room. Uh, Alpha Zero did not mind though since it can take off this bishop on e7 and getting rid of that bishop leaves black's dark squares quite weak. In particular d6 and f6 look like fantastic squares for a white knight. Uh, the rook jumps right into d6, great square for the rook. Uh, queen to f8, once again white is not interested in taking d7 here because that would trade off the really good rook on d6 for the pretty useless rook on e7. So alpha zero just played rook to e1. Uh, knight to c6, queen to c4, uh, rook on e to e8. And now alpha zero took on d7 and there will be no rook trade here and there is a specific idea here. After rook e d8, rook takes b7 and exchange sacrifice. And after rook takes b7, knight g5, this bishop has been unleashed. And without the bishop on b7, now black's uh, light squares are really weak. There is nothing contesting this really, really powerful bishop. And yeah, so after knight g5, we have knight takes g5, bishop takes g5, rook to d4, Queen to b3, rook to c7, and here Alpha Zero looked at it, looked at the position, and I guess it had a look for weaknesses. And this pawn chain here, it can be broken down. It's the protection of the Black King, and Alpha Zero plays a nice pawn lever here, e6. And you can see that if f takes e6, then g6 is just going to become extremely weak, and Black's King will be completely opened up. So black played king to h7, but the king still looks very vulnerable, especially the dark squares here. The bishops control both color complexes here. Uh, queen to f3, and uh, alpha zero's threat here is to take the knight on c6, actually. So if we throw in just a useless move for black, then white would play queen takes c6. And after rook takes c6, e7. And you can see that white is going to promote that pawn here. I think best for black would be rook c8 and after pawn takes queen, let's just throw that on the board, after rook c8 pawn takes queen, rook takes queen, uh, white just has two bishops against the rook which is clearly great and after e7 if queen to e8 um, then bishop takes c6 and you can see that after queen takes c6 white will promote. Uh, therefore after queen to f3 black played Queen to e8 to prevent that queen takes knight idea by defending the knight. Uh, bishop to h3, given e6 some more support. Queen f8, b3, f5, and after f5 you can see that this pawn on e6 is an, just an absolute monster here. Bishop g2, the knight comes to the, to block the pawn. And once again Alpha Zero looks at the position and it sees that this bishop can be improved. It plays bishop to f4, that bishop is coming to the e5 square, which is just absolutely fantastic. Queen to d8, bishop to e5, there, there's no interest in taking the rook here, because this bishop is just fantastic, better than both of black's rooks. Uh, rook to d2, and here uh, the pawn on e6 is maybe lacking a bit of support, so bishop to f1, a5, a4, rook a7, and bishop to c4, defending the pawn on e6. And now this is really a crushing position for white. Um, already sort of ideas such as queen f4, queen g5, queen f6 look really powerful and black's really going to struggle to defend here. Uh, Stockfish played knight to d5. Alpha Zero played rook to d1, knight b4, rook takes rook, queen takes rook, bishop f4, queen e1 check, king g2, uh, knight c2, and now queen to d5. And you can see that this queen is a really strong piece, already maybe thinking of just trying to mate the black king. And Stockfish decided the queen is too powerful and went for a queen trade with queen to e4 check. But after queen takes e4, f takes e4, uh, white has two bishops here. And therefore they can control both e7 and e8. And therefore this pawn is probably going to promote. So bishop to g5, rook a8. Uh, bishop to f6, this stops the king coming to g7, and if you play king to g8, then e7 check, and the king will have to go back again, so white would just win. So after bishop to f6, the knight comes rushing back, and it does actually just in time, 
managed to get to d6 to prevent the pawn from promoting. But the, the rook and the knight are just tied down here to the e8 square to prevent the pawn from promoting. So black really can't do anything. Bishop to c6, rook to c8, uh, bishop to d7, rook a8, uh, f3. If e takes f3, king takes f3, alpha 0's king would soon be coming up into the position which would inevitably lead to a collapse of black's defense. The knight comes to e8, bishop g5, king g8, uh, f takes e4, and now uh, knight to c7. Uh, bishop to f4 attacking the knight, uh, and now rook to e8, which is sort of just resigning. If you play knight to e8 here, then bishop to c6, and after rook to c8, bishop to b7, uh, the rook is trapped, it doesn't have any squares anymore. So therefore, after bishop to f4, uh, rook to e8, and I guess alpha zero is not going to fall for this, but this is sort of setting the trap, I guess. You could imagine a human taking the knight here, but now rook takes e7, and suddenly both bishops are on one row here. So black would win a piece, and probably the game. So therefore, after rook to e8, uh, just bishop to d6, and black just doesn't have any moves here. If you move the rook, then the knight will now be taken. If you move the knight, then the rook will be taken. And after king f7, uh, bishop takes e8 check, knight takes e8, e5, and here Stockfish just resigned since uh, Stockfish just cannot do anything here. If you take the bishop, then the king and pawn endgame is won, since if you try and win the pawn on d6, well, here if you take the pawn, then white will promote the queen. Okay, a really interesting game, quite a long game, but I hope you enjoyed. So yeah, thank you very much for watching.